Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and this is Black Desert. Been a while since I did a video on this last, roundabout about release actually. I've been playing it on and off since. In fact, playing it quite a bit more lately. Now, I haven't made a huge amount of progress. I'm still effectively within the start area. I'm only level 26, but I'm getting there. As you can see, the game is absolutely gorgeous. I've also got a bunch of missions outstanding, or a bunch of quests outstanding, and I'm going to go and do one of those now. For those of you that don't play Black Desert, missions in this game, or quests in this game, don't actually give out XP. You actually get that from combat. Instead, you get other rewards from quests, such as contribution points, and we'll get into that a little bit later on. The world of Black Desert is absolutely massive. The soft cap is level 50, and you can do that in around about 10% of the entire map. The rest of the map is left for all the activities once you reach that soft level cap. The particular mission I've got to do here is to seek out the eagle, or the bird, of one of the rebel leaders. Now, this is, of course, extensively a Korean MMO, and that shows in many ways. It shows in the combat, and it shows in the style of quest you get. Not all the text actually makes much sense, some of the quests are very, very simplistic, but that's to be expected, and really, it's not too much of a problem overall. The combat, on the other hand, took me quite a while to actually get into. I love the feel of the combat, it is very kinetic, and each attack has got a lot of weight and a lot of momentum behind it. But what felt strange to me, at least initially, was how quick you can kill the enemies. Just look how quick all these are dying here. But eventually, I realised, well, this is very much a Korean MMO thing anyway simply sweeping up as many enemies as absolutely possible and raising all your skills, your XP and gathering all the coinage. In fact, many elements of this game are designed to have a rapid pace in mind. And Black Desert isn't at all afraid of doing its own thing. It quite often very much steps away from traditional conventions of other MMOs. But once you get past that and realise what the game is actually aiming for, and when you get past some of the more superficial aspects of the game, you realise that Black Desert actually has quite a lot of depth to it. Beneath the veneer, beneath this rather visual and striking kinetic exterior, lies a somewhat deep management game. In fact, there are so many deep and interconnected systems that Black Desert could quite possibly put some pure management games to shame. Now here you can see I've been involved in somewhat of a mini boss fight. Whilst other NPCs you can just mop up en masse, you can't really do that with the boss fights. And here you really do need a little bit of thought as to how you're actually going to approach the combat. Tactics, evasion and a little bit of crowd control actually play very important roles. And unlike the combat in many other games of this genre, this one has instant action, and the combat system is deep enough that it allows you to create a good number of different combos. In fact, I'd go as far to say that the further you get into the game, the more essential those combos become, and the more you're actually going to find yourself relying on them. Occasionally, like with this mini-boss here, you get a summon scroll from them, and what that enables you to do is go and summon a boss elsewhere, either for the fun of it or for rewards. Now, after all this combat, I remembered that I was here purely for the eagle. Having a bit of look around, I noticed he was up on one of the other ledges here. And that leads you into one of the other aspects of Black Desert, the ability to climb pretty much anything, almost any area you can see within the game, one way or another, you can probably reach. Black Desert has been a little bit of a strange game for me. It's been out a few months now, at least in Europe or in the West. And at this point, I'm actually starting to wish that I'd played it a lot more than I actually have. It took a while to actually get into the game, but now I'm uncovering the depth of it, I'm starting to realise it's actually a very enjoyable game. So, uh, this quest was now complete, time to head back and hand it in. And with that out the way, I wanted to get back to managing my little production empire. Now, that's not actually anywhere near as big as I'd like it to be at this point, and by comparison to most people, it's probably very small at the moment. But I've hired a bunch of NPC workers, and they're effectively all going out to doing their various activities at the moment. Some of them I've got mining, other ones I've got harvesting wood, and some of them are involved in production of various sorts. But workers are a fussy bunch, and they soon run out of stamina, meaning I had to come here to get some ingredients to cook them up some food, or in this case, some beer. Most of the ingredients you actually can buy, but for most recipes there's actually a component that you actually need to harvest. In this case, that's potatoes which one of my workers actually goes and gathers from one of the local farms. 
Here in my sparse house are set to cook in. Now I haven't got any other furniture here other than the cook pot but I've now got my workers a production line that will enable me very shortly to start crafting some furniture to start putting in this place and by the looks of it it really does need it. With a whole bunch of beer now cooked up it was time to get my workers back to work. As you'll know if you've played Black Desert all workers are actually represented by real NPCs and actually roam around the world. And that is a really nice touch. You'll see them going about the job that you've actually set them to. I've got a, a few different places lined up here over at the Goblin Cave. I've got one of my workers mining some ore here, some iron or, or copper ore rather. And I've also got them harvesting some ash timber. Like I say, my little production empire is in the very early stages at the moment. I've got a bunch of different nodes in work here. But at the moment, I'm uh, gathering mostly iron ore, copper ore, as well as ash timber. And once again, those little guys are going to head on out and start gathering up all those resources for me. Over at the town there, I've purchased a number of different houses, which I've applied various uh, activities to them. Some are just purely storage, but other ones are doing some more essential things, such as used for productions. And there you can see my little worker heading on out to gather me some copper ore. Nowadays, there's very few games that can retain my interest, but Black Desert seems to have done that in spades. For now, I'm heading on out there to see what I can find. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.